The topic of this video is how to find the area of an oblique triangle. And you're probably thinking, I already know how to find the area of a triangle. It's one half base times height, which is exactly right. But the problem is, you may not know what the height of the triangle is, right? One half base times height you might only know the base, right, and some angles. So what you've got to figure out is how can I use information that I know if I know two sides and an angle. Well, let's think about it in terms of this. If I wanted to find what the height was, I know that the height is used by or found by solving this right triangle. Sine A, for instance, would be H over C here. So we can state that the height is really C times sine A. So we can plug it into the formula that we have one half times the base times the height, which is C times sine of A. and that is another way that we can write the area of an oblique triangle. Now the height can move, right? Like for instance if I oriented that differently or even labeled things differently, So let me draw another triangle here where maybe we have it oriented this way and our height goes down to this base of now A. So if we wanted to figure out what the height was equal to, we could say sine of B is equal to H over C. So C times sine B is equal to H. So when we look at one half base times the height, we would have one half of A, which is the base in this case, times C times sine of B. Okay? So look, there's actually a pattern. Do you notice we have an A, B, and C in each formula? Whatever the angle is, we need to know the other two sides to figure out the area of the oblique triangle. So let's look at a specific case here. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Where we have A is 125 degrees, B is 500 feet, and C is 800 feet. And we want to find the area of a triangular lot that has this information pertaining to it. So we're just going to plug in. We know everything, right? We know an angle A and the other two sides B and C. So we get one half B times C times sine A, which is one half times 500 times 800 times sine of 125. And then just plugging into the calculator, we get that the area is 163,830.4 square feet. 